Shalom, Shabbat Shalom everyone. Chaim the Galilean here. My voice is a little bit gone, so I apologize. Um, I want to talk to you about something amazing. That's right, one new man. Ephesians 2, um, <clears throat> verses 11 through 22. Super exciting. Remember, therefore remember, you, the Gentiles in the flesh, you, who were called um, uncircumcision by the circumcision, right? One time separate from the Messiah, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope without God in this world. But now through the Messiah, you are who were far off are brought near. He is our peace who broke down that middle wall of partition and abolished in his flesh that hostility, that enmity, and made one new man of the two, making peace. Yes, reconciliation. Now we all want to be in the sweet by and by, don't we? But God wants us to be in the dirty now and now. We got work to do. People want to get their bridal gowns on, but it's time to get our priestly, priestly um, robes on because we got to be the salt. We got to be the light. We got to be the transformation that God wants, wants to transform the world around us. And there's a frequency, there's a harmony coming forth that we got to sing. As we harmonize, as we, as we get into this one new man understanding that he's talking about to these Ephesians, sure there's Jew. Sure, there's Gentiles. Sure, there's men. Sure, there's women. Uh, sure, there's differences, and differences aren't bad. You know, there are many different languages. That's not bad. It says all tribes, all languages will be in heaven. Why did God make Gentiles? Somebody's got to pay retail prices. Just kidding. All of us get to now figure out what this commonwealth is. How do we walk together? How do we worship together? This commonwealth, not unlike the commonwealth of the United Kingdom. You remember how in the commonwealth of the United Kingdom, uh, you didn't have the New Zealanders saying, well, we have to become English. Saul the Benjaminite and Paul the Roman citizen, he had a citizenship. Doesn't mean he had to cancel being a Benjaminite. Something's new on the scene of the drama of the unfolding of destiny. Practical, biblical, education and training for Christians around the world. Serving the people and land of Israel with unconditional love and an uncompromising faith. Please make your donation today. Your monthly gift is a commitment with us in blessing Israel, blessing God. The Aliyah Return Center, 